dedicating their practice. So please feel free to dedicate your practice to somebody or to a group of people or to the earth or whatever you feel inspired to dedicate all the positive energy to that we create through this practice together. Okay, so I'm going to move and I'm going to sit on my cushion. So, so while I do that, you might also want to get yourselves really comfortable for the practice. So maybe we can become aware of our body resting in this posture that we've chosen. And just see if you are feeling that the body is creating a good container for the practice. Sometimes we place our body in a kind of skewed or slouched way. So just noticing it might be helpful for the practice to feel upright and tall and feel balanced and aligned and also feeling grounded and as if we can really let the weight of our body settle onto the chair or cushions and the floor and the earth beneath. And as we notice our body in this way, it can become clear that we're holding tension or clenching in different areas. So just being aware of that tendency and it might be possible to let the body really soften. And we'll notice now whether we have a clear intention for our practice. Maybe it will be helpful to get some clarity here if we don't already have that. If we feel clear about what we're doing when we're practicing, it's easier to stay on track rather than getting lost in habitual thinking. So just notice if you have any particular intentions for the practice today. It might be just a very simple intention such as to be with the breath or to find this moment and be within this moment. Or there might be something in particular that you feel you need today that you would like to connect with as your intention.
and another area to spend a moment with before we really enter into the main body of the practice might be our motivation. So as we sit here, perhaps we can drop the question into our minds of what is my motivation for practicing? So letting this question turn over in our mind in a very casual way, you don't need to find an answer. But an answer may turn up. And the answer doesn't have to take any particular shape. It might be quite surprising how it shows itself. It might come as a, as a feeling running through the body or an image suddenly revealing itself. What is my motivation for practicing? Why is it meaningful? Why is it important? So this question connects us with a deeper sense of purpose. And this really enlivens our practice. Just see if whatever you've found with this question can settle into your heart and enliven your heart towards practicing. And now we'll drop into our breathing body. Letting the breath flow and our attention with it. And sometimes at this stage in the practice, it can be really helpful to let the breath deepen and lengthen. This is without forcing it. Really, as we deepen and lengthen the breath, also softening, becoming peaceful. We're not laboring the breath in any way. We're letting it be free. And if you want to count to help you to regularize the breath, you could count to three or four on the in-breath and three or four on the out-breath. Some people like to say a phrase, so you could also, if you want, say breathing in, breathing out.
And as we settle in this way, you'll notice the mind getting up to all sorts of ant antics. This is completely normal and natural, nothing wrong. We just become more and more aware of these antics and see if we can continually guide our attention back in a kind way to the breath and the counting or the phrase. And now letting go of the counting or the phrase, letting the breath flow in a natural rhythm of its own. And we might begin to become more aware of the sensations around the out breath. Just being really curious, what does the out breath really feel like when I pay attention as if noticing it for the first time? And maybe our minds can learn from the body. So noticing how the body is with the out breath. There's a releasing that happens in the body. And maybe our minds can release in a similar way. Releasing entanglement with thinking. As we disentangle from the thinking, seeing if we can now find our true home, resting in the body, flowing with the breath, letting the weight of the body find its home on the earth. So sinking down to our home, the earth, supported and held by the vast presence of the planet beneath us. Letting our body belong to the earth. 
gravity, creating this relationship. And as we rest in our body in this way, we may become aware of all sorts of goings on in our body. How we are today may be reflected in all sorts of sensations or feelings or emotions, moving and changing and residing in different areas of our body. seeing if we can open our awareness up to feeling and experiencing this landscape within us, the landscape of how we are today. And some of what is here may be pleasant, some of it may be what we call unpleasant. Is it possible to ease up on whether we judge it one way or another? Because it's all here anyway. And instead of judging, just land right into the middle of it and sit here with it exactly how it is. Is it possible to rest here, not trying to change anything, not trying to force anything to happen, not trying to achieve? Letting it all happen by itself. And now very gradually and very kindly see if we can reconnect with the rhythm of the breath flowing in our body and without abandoning the bigger picture of our body here sitting in this room on this ground so we're still 
allowing our attention and our awareness to be open and global. Not just confined to the body, but aware of the space around us. And at the same time, we're really intimate with our breath flowing in the body. So letting our body do the breathing. It's known how to do this since we were born. Letting ourselves be breathed. Maybe we can be soothed by our breath, a bit like being rocked, gently rocked by our breath or massaged from the inside by it. And we can also cultivate a kind of discipline around noticing if we get carried away into thinking or daydreaming or dozing. And seeing if we can awaken from that trance and come back to a clarity of intention to be with the breath aware of the body, open awareness, warm presence,
We might also contemplate how our breath is not, it's not totally an individual thing, it's something we share with others. We connect because we all breathe. Animals breathe, trees breathe in a way. Our breath is kind of like the earth breathing through us. And this might be a way to contemplate our interconnectedness with life, feeling our breath as the earth's breath not so much about my breath, but through this breathing body, we are part of a huge web of life, life happening. And now as we come towards the close of the practice, just letting go of any particular focus, resting in our body with a sense of giving up meditating, just letting ourselves be here, open, aware, Nothing more to do now.
So as you come out of the practice, you might want to stand and stretch or move the body a little bit.